I would be rotting inside that creature's gullet if not for Spider-Man. Time to return the favor. We'll find him. We're running facial recognition on every surveillance camera in the cloud. Oh, they just keep moving too fast. Uh, can't believe I'm saying this, but you think Team Spooky's doing any better? Nothing. Well, your inflection on that last dactyl was... perfect. Perhaps a magnetism rune? Against a level 5 demon-alien hybrid? Where did you learn your magic? Demo Khan? You know, you really do have a look. Hunter's right, this isn't working. On to plan C. Well, more like D. Norman won't mind if I borrow a few Oscorp satellites at 45,000 feet, right? Higher, further, faster, baby. 82nd and 5th. Well, between 5th and Madison now. Guys, they're live. And they're trendy. Hashtag big alien apple. Not bad. Thanks. Now imagine if you had just asked for our help sooner. No time for an after school special. Hatching it through. Hatching it all through. We need to hurry. seen anyone move with such speed and agility. If Venom was coming after me, I'd probably move that quick too. Venom has taken to the rooftops, and he's tossing just about anything he can find onto the streets below. There are innocent people down there. Get them to safety before it's too late. elbow or something by now? We just want the bones and bring them home to mother! Subdue this animal and bring it to site one. We'll squirt your face burning your... Consider switching occupations if I were you, friend. I know, I know, no job's perfect. But at the end of the day, it's all about the co-workers. Neighborhood. I'd say let's all stop for a group selfie, but Eddie might get a little jealous. I cannot fathom why one of my mother's fallen is so obsessed with me. I'm not sure what any of that means, but Eddie and I were doing our thing here in New York way before those horns grew out of his head. I've never known him to pick on civilians, though. We need to get these people out of his way.
super villains next time. They're not living up to their reputation. You're mine. That actually hurt a little. Scanners picking up reinforcements. Serve on honor. Lilith must not have left instructions for Hydra on how to control her new pet. Can't say I feel sorry for them, but there's still civilians trapped here too. Oh, cool. I can hear her too, talking in my head. Um, same one I right, that was going to be my next guess. Targeting systems active. Civilians are clear. It's open season on Hydra and their pet monstrosity. They will be the next to fall in the hunt. Wow. Did you ever work with a guy named Craven? That won't slow me down. Your fate is sealed. Good. That wasn't bad. Confirm enemy target. What's our contingency plan? I've got your back. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Now's your chance to hone those skills of yours. Don't leave any hype. You don't look so tough up close. Have you been eating Hydra again, Eddie? Your breath is almost worse than your bite. All the food we need is right in front of us. Test your worth. They cannot possibly match your strength. Try this on for size. Right, feeling it. Lilith has sent you here to die. I hope you are prepared. We've got the 
them all. Now let's get to Venom and stop all this. No more games. No more running. You can't stop us. is a definite maybe. Estimate this thing. Looks like we're not done yet. Follow Spider Man's lead here. He's the expert when it comes to Venom. Um. Especially if he's feeling huggy. Just like old times. No mercy on the servants. We will make you feel regret. Oh, this should be good. Personally, Eddie always gets extra grumpy when he's hungry. Think he's bad. You should see Jameson if he doesn't get his more bagel. Anybody else feel that? something.
how fragile you are! down the entire city. I'm an engine. I am impressed. is on me. its fists is its breath. I am at my limit. I'm on it. idea ever? Good afternoon, Demo Venom! Here's a special request from all of New York to you, our sloviest invaders since Thanos.
had to get bit by a radioactive spider with really good hearing. I was going to say, amazing. That's what the kids tell me. I think I'll pass out now. Don't worry. I know a safe place. Good to have you around again. Well done driving off that monstrosity Venom before he took an even bigger chunk out of our dear friend Spider-Man. Thankfully, Doctor Strange is tending to him in the barracks. Hunter! I was just looking for you. We need your assistance. Who is we? The Esoteric Mystical Order, specifically the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism. That is an elaborate name. You can blame Doctor Strange. Oh, I may have rearranged a few words so it spells out emo kids. Tell me what you need. Doctor Strange Magic and I are researching a crucial moment in your past, but it's probably better if we just show you. How about it? Ready to uncover one of the greatest mysteries about your life after death? Lead the way. Let's do it! So, about the spell that brought you back to life, uh, it worked better than expected, but there are some... gaps. You are talking about my death. Exactly. The memories of your final moments might tell us how you defeated your mother three centuries ago. That could give us an edge this time around. Those memories are lost. Maybe not. We think there's a way to recover them. All you're gonna need is a mystical jumpstart. How would that work? Doctor Strange can explain it better than I, but if you want the abridged version, ask magic. And when you're ready to begin the ritual, let me know. Hunter, I'm glad you're present for the inaugural meeting. Of what, exactly? Why, the Knights of Intellect and Dimensional Spiritualism, the Abbey's local chapter of the Esoteric Mystical Order. Right. Emo kids. So, the ritual? Regarding your resurrection, we had to meticulously reunite your corpus or physical vessel with your animus or spiritual essence. How does this relate to the ritual? Animating your corpus was the easy part, but your essence, your thoughts, hopes, fears, and dreams, that was the slipperiest eel. Does the ritual require eels? But now, with the plenary potential of Miss Minoru's Staff of One to focus Miss Rasputin's enigmatic energies, I, Doctor Strange... The ritual? The Sorcerer Supreme shall pluck from unreality your mislaid memory, thought lost to time and death. I shall stare those cosmic forces in their many eyes and shout, NAY! Doctor Strange, the ritual. How does it work? Didn't I just explain? I could start with the fundamental underpinnings of the multiverse theory if it would help. Just tell me what to expect. Ah, yes. You will focus on recalling what was lost as we do everything in our power to restore it. Simple, really. Yes? How does this ritual work? 
This is the ritual. You focus on the past, Nico zaps you with her staff, Strange chants and waggles his fingers, then you remember. Maybe. So why are you here? Should the zapping, chanting and waggling go bad, I will open a portal to Limbo and push you inside before the explosion. There is a chance I might explode. A very small chance. Unlikely. The Strange have any other details about the ritual? Ha! Far too many. How concerned should I be about exploding? Slightly more than usual. That is all I need to know. Tell Nico, and don't explode. The first part's easy. I need you to focus on your last memories before you fought Lilith. Will this help me remember? I can't answer that. When I start, you'll be the one making the repairs. The rest of us are here to keep you steady. <sighs> All right. If you're ready, we can begin. I am ready. Now, Hunter, tell us what you do. I raced through the Abbey grounds, angry, terrified. It is too late. We were not ready. My foot slips, but I catch myself. I run with my blades exposed. I am completely alone. The moonlight guides my path. My lungs ache. My heart pounds. I rush toward my doom. I... I cannot. No! Whoa! We, we, we all saw that, right? I have no words to describe it. Finally. You don't seem any worse for wear, but do inform me if you experience any lingering mystical oddities. Metacosmic soul rot is no laughing matter. Holding your breath may increase your chance to explode. Or decrease? Hmm, one of those. Well, how about that? Your final moments are there, just buried deep inside. It did not work. Not yet, but we made progress. I'm sure we can figure out a way for you to remember more the next time. Next time? Heck yeah! Emo kids meet every lunar alignment. Or, you know, whenever we're free on a slow night. Oh, and we need ingredients. Magic will send a list to your spark. If you bring enough, we can refine them into more useful mystical objects. We're done for today, but I'll be in touch about the next meeting. Catch you later! patient is faring? I assure you, Hunter, his injuries are minor given the circumstances, and he's convalescing quite nicely due to my expert medical care. I know I've asked a lot of you recently, dear. Especially when it comes to these little excursions. But there is one more thing you could do to make an old witch happy. If it were not so good to see you again, I might think you were taking advantage of me. Ah, uh, Hunter. You certainly are the product of your environment. Between Sarah and I, I suppose we're just lucky you didn't turn out more cynical. Besides, this might be interesting. Now that the altar is in working order, we just need to reignite my cauldron. 
How interesting can that be? Your cauldron was always churning with some concoction in the old days. Yes. And how do you think that was possible? It's not just any flame we're talking about here. Maybe you've heard tale of the demon fueling the forge? A fire-breathing demon, no less, blazing as hot as the flames of hell itself. Fortunately, I'll only require a single ember. I can see where this is going. How do I find it? I've enchanted this vessel to protect you from the ember's heat. You should be able to get close enough to retrieve it through one of the old mine tunnels beneath the forge. I have seen the tunnels. They were here before the Abbey. I'm not surprised. You always have been curious. The tunnel may lead close enough to the heart of the forge to retrieve an ember. Is my ferocious Charlie girl. Come along, Charlie. What is it, Charlie? Find something? This must be an ember from the forge. the ember. The bottle is not even warm. If it were giving off any heat at all, I'd be concerned, given the enchantment on that vessel. Now, let's see if this old girl still works. So I can use the cauldron to brew... things? Essentially, yes. Collect reagents on the Abbey grounds. You'd be surprised what we can make use of. And I just dropped the ingredients in. Is that not dangerous? That's part of the fun, isn't it? And I see you've already found a recipe book. I doubt you'll have any trouble following along. Lovely, dear. You're a natural.
We need to know the nature of Faustus's research. Spider-Man would probably appreciate it if you looked in on him. I think he's quite impressed by you. I am the web-slinging arachnid of justice. I am the fearsome spider who just ruined your day. Wait, wait. Who, who owns the night? I am the eight-legged bringer of justice. I am Spider-Man. Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man. Oh, hey, Hunter. Didn't see you there. Everything's fine. This is completely normal. All the top heroes do it, I'm sure. Do what? Practice their hero voice. In my case, my spider voice. I figured if I was going to be teaming up with this group, I ought to up my game. Sound more... I don't know. Scary, I guess. Well, your spider voice is very noticeable. Really? Did it give you pause? Strike fear in your heart as you approach the spider's lair? It struck something. Yes! That means a lot to me, coming from you. I don't know too many demon hunters. It's nice to get an expert opinion every now and then. And if I might add an opinion of my own, you are much nicer than Craven. I actually came here to thank you. Thank me? For what? And by the way, does this thanks also involve pizza? I have to say battling Eddie always works up the appetite. If I were to acquire this pizza, who would I give it to? Your identity remains a mystery to us all. Oh, you want to meet the spider man beneath the mask. Sorry, that's a no-go. My true identity is a closely guarded secret. Not even MJ or Aunt May know for... Wait... I see what you're doing there. Sorry, Hunter, the mask's gotta stay on. I hope that's not gonna make things weird between us. The Abbey is a place of many secrets. Your identity is safe within these walls. It's not the walls here I'm worried about. It's out there in the real world where the people I love are. No mask can hide you or them from Lilith. Her gaze can pierce your very soul. Heesh. Reminds me of my best friend's dad. And that was before he became a flying goblin. I know this is not easy for you, Spider-Man. The people here are very different from one another. They do not always see eye to eye. But... One thing I can say in truth... Is that I trust them with my very life. Lives. Wait, did you just say lives, as in plural? Yes. I am really gonna enjoy getting to know you, Hunter. And we would enjoy getting to know you. The real you. Listen, let me think it over, alright? It's a big decision. Gotta meditate on it. Check my horoscope, roll it around in my head, and maybe we'll talk soon. Cool? Cool. I really need to think this over. Hey, 
Can I ask a favor? Ah, oh, thanks, Hunter. Well, you know what they say about practice, right? Right then. Hail, Holy One. Or is it unholy? Hmm, yet to be determined. Of all the enemies we could be facing, I'm grateful Lilith is our foe. It is reassuring to hear that from the Sorcerer Supreme. Your flattery is less subtle than Thor's on Tandra's, but uh, I'll take it. Lilith is a powerful foe, to be certain, but for once, we know our enemy. Her history, her goals, many of her capabilities, but most of all, we know she can die. It did not take the first time. Per your earlier blandishments, this time you count a Sorcerer Supreme amongst your allies. How could we possibly fail? Let's endeavor to meet again. Oh, you are gonna love this. Got more coil for me? This is never gonna Take your pick, Hunter. We are finally getting some decent tech down here. Farewell. for days. This coil of yours is no simple substance. There's no one-click option. I get it. Just get back to me as soon as you can. You'll be the first I call. I do not think you are even close to your limits. I think you are pretty special, too. Something amiss, Captain? Nope, nothing. Just Bruce being Bruce. More importantly, really glad we got Spider-Man back, Hunter. Not sure if you've noticed it, but these end-of-day scenarios really tend to put a damper on morale. It's nice to get a solid win, you know? Every victory we have inches us closer to stopping Lilith. And every life we save... ...is another ally against her. In this case, a wisecracking, radioactive Spider-Man ally. Which is a good thing, now that we know Hydra has been augmenting their soldiers with this radioactive green gamma shampoo. We're gonna need all the help we can get. Speaking of helping, should probably get back to it. 
There's a certain special Hydra mad scientist out there whose face is just begging for a smacking. And these gamma signatures of his don't seem to want to analyze themselves. Talk to you later. You've been doing well out there, kiddo. And you're making an impression on your teammates. Make sure you let them know how you feel about their efforts, too. They'll appreciate a kind word from the legendary hunter. I have something for you. Oh? Here you are. Good. Hmm, I don't know where to put this. That is Nico's problem now. Hydra forces are transferring some of their equipment out of this area, and you have a chance to intercept it. quickly if we're going to recover any of their equipment. So be it. I am impressed. No mercy for the servants of Willem. Not much has changed among the world's fanatics. More than enough. Even the gods will not stand before us as arrogantly as you have. The job done. Come closer, little one. Your time has come.
How many times is that? Let's see how tough you are. I like it when we're in control of the city. They've armed one of the crates. It's going to explode if you don't get that key. Now it's... Love the effort. It was your time. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. You've secured one of the crates. See if you can't get the others. Your fate is sealed. of the crates is armed to detonate. Get to that key card. That was the last crate. Wipe out the remaining Hydra forces. Let's get you home. See your intentions. See, I am not the only one with a darker side. That's one shipment Hydra won't be receiving. I need your help. Magic's birthday is coming up. I want to throw her a surprise party, but I can't do it alone. What do you need me to do? If you could get the other Midnight Suns on board, it would take a huge weight off my shoulders. Should I mention this to Tony, Carol, and the others? Uh, I don't know if they can keep a secret. I'm not even sure if I'll tell them about the party until that night. Oh, but I should probably invite Spider-Man. He seems like he'd really get into it. Alright. Let me know what you want. Still figuring out who and what I need, but I'll message you when I do.
Probably tomorrow? Sounds good. Thanks for this. Do you have any questions? Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? It'll be fun! All your friends showing up at once to wish you the best. <laughs> Doesn't that sound fun to you? Sounds like you really like surprise parties. Of course! I had a few when I was younger, back when I thought I was part of a normal family. You do not often speak about that time in your life. Uh, why would I want to? It was a childhood of happy memories, before my quite literally evil parents pulled the rug out from under me. Ah, uh, but those parties... <laughs> my parents weren't throwing them to appease their dark gods, they wanted me to have the happiest birthday. Where are we going to have the party? I'm still scouting locations, but somewhere inside the Abbey. We'll make it work. Why the surprise? Why not a normal birthday party? I already told you, surprise parties are a lot of fun. What more do you need than that on your birthday? That is all I had. I'm good for now. I'm good if you're good. Thanks for this, Hunter. Can't wait to see the look on her face. And so you actually slept in that thing. That was probably a mistake. I kept having dreams that I was swallowed by Sandman. That's, uh, actually happened, you know. Look, man, I get it. It's not a decision to take lightly. I struggled with it for a while myself. What changed your mind? I guess I finally started trusting these fools. They may be a little crazy, but they're like family. And what about your real family? Don't you worry about what could happen? Ah, they're back in LA. Much as my kid brother Gabe would love this place, they don't know a thing. Whatever happens here, never gets back there. To be honest, I don't even think we're in the same dimension. Um, what? Ah, never mind that. Point is, this is a safe place with good people. If there's anyone who can keep a secret, it's them. Sort of comes with the territory of being a midnight sun. Most of our lives weren't sunshine and candy before Caretaker recruited us. And now we've got a gigantic, demonically powered pizza oven in the forge. Excuse me, would you... Hey man, it's okay. We can talk about something else if you want. Yes, please stay. Can't. Got something I need to do. I really thought I had him with the pizza thing. What is it with you both and Pete? Okay, you wanted it, you got it. You wanted what? I give you by popular demand, the man underneath the mask. Peter Parker from Forest Hills, Queens. Nice to see you finally ditch the spider face doily, Peter. We're all friends here. You got our attention, so what do you got to say, Petey? Um, hi? After all that build-up, I hope I didn't disappoint anybody. I mean, I can't shoot laser beams, light my skull on fire, or glow like the sun. Like Tony said, outside of the costume, I'm just boring old Peter Parker. I don't even have a cool screen name. I have seen you in battle with Venom, Peter. Believe me when I say you are anything but boring. Aw, thanks. Jeez, Hunter, are you trying to make me blush? I did not realize you embarrassed so easily. Oh yeah, I actually surprise myself at the things that embarrass me. Speaking of, now that we took care of the giant radioactive spider elephant in the room, we might as well get to know one another. If there's anything else you're curious to know about me, ask away. I'm apparently an open book now. So what do you say, Hunter? Care to step inside this spider-verse? I have encountered werewolves, half-vampires, dragonmen, but I have never encountered a Spider-Man before. There must be quite a story about how you became this way. It's actually not the most epic story. Sort of a 
Field trip gone wrong scenario, if you get me. <laughs> I do not. Well, a small irradiated spider bit me while I was working up the nerve to ask Mary Jane Watson if she'd like to check out the Pym Particle exhibit at the Empire State Museum. Next thing I know, the high-energy photons injected into my bloodstream started altering my genomic sequence. At first, I thought I was having an allergic reaction, and then I started climbing up the walls. I told my Aunt May it was late-onset puberty. She, uh, believed me for some reason. So, how about you? Get bit by a radioactive hunter or something? My mother is the harbinger of a dark god. A normal life was never in the cards for me. Yeesh. I thought high school was hard to deal with. That's gotta be a heavy load to carry. It is not always easy. And just how many years has there been a Spider-Verse? Oh, you mean how long have I been doing this? A few years now. You should have seen the original suit. I'd still have it lying around the dorm somewhere. It makes a great blanket. How about you? How long have you been... hunting? At this point, I suppose I am well over three centuries old. That is, if you count the years spent above and below ground, of course. Of course! I mean, whatever gets you senior discounts sooner, am I right? You are a fascinating man. Ooh, I like that. Friendly neighborhood fascinating man. I wonder if Stark owns that trademark yet. You do not seem like a typical Avenger. Avenger? Me? Oh, no. Between my double major at Empire State, taking photos for the Bugle, and, you know, the whole protecting the neighborhood thing, who has the time? Besides, they haven't asked me to join them, um, yet, of course. What about you? How's this whole Midnight Sun thing work? You like the captain or something? Perhaps according to a prophecy, but in truth, it is only unified together that we will all prevail over Lilith and Cathan. Ego is simply the tool of our enemy. You sure you're not already an Avenger? Definitely know a guy who'd love to hear that. Here's a hint. It rhymes with smapped in Hermerica. This Venom creature's obsession with you is strong enough to overcome my mother's call. Until now, I thought that impossible. It's, a uh, complicated. Eddie, the guy underneath the giant oozing mouth, was a reporter with me at the Bugle a while back. I may have ruined his career by exposing a phony source of his on this big murder case. This, of course, led him to the alien symbiote that had secretly bonded with me after my original suit was trashed on Battleworld. We can talk about that little adventure later. Long story short, I thought I had eradicated the suit with a giant church bell. Before I knew it was alive, of course. Anywho, the alien symbiote decided to merge with Eddie, and the two have been hunting me down ever since. It's your basic simple misunderstanding, right? Well, I guess every superhero needs a super nemesis. Venom is mine. It must be tough having your own mom be yours, huh? From a caretaker has told me, Lilith ceased being my mother the day she gave her soul to the Darkhold. The Mother of Demons is all that remains now. There's some movies you and I really need to watch. It used to be a trilogy, now I've lost count. Either way, call me a romantic, but I believe there's still good in everyone. Guess that's why I have a soft spot for Eddie. And the symbiote too. That symbiote saved my life on more than a few occasions. Deep down, I know there's more than what you see on that slimy, oozing, brain-eating surface. Thank you, Peter. I should be going. This was... eye-opening. For both of us? I gotta thank you too, Hunter. I was sorta of holding back before. You know, didn't want to be a chatty Charlie. But now the floodgates are open. Let the real Peter Parker flow through! Anyway, um, you gotta go. I'll talk to you soon.
Of that, I have no doubt. Farewell, Peter. Good chatting with you, Hunter. Welcome, Hunter. Hunter. I should be training. You need to go? No, I'm just not the kind of person who takes a lot of breaks. I used to relax by hunting bears. The only weapon I brought was myself. <laughs> right, you have to keep up or you fall behind. Because any day could be your last. Yeah, you can't control everything. Dangers crop up. Not every day, but yeah, most days. Let us be realistic. Every day is impossible. Exactly. What next? Sleep one night a week? That's how you get hallucinations. You speak from experience? <laughs> Maybe. Come on, tell me. Northern Alaska has two straight months of darkness per year. Some idiot vampires think they'll find paradise. But no, all these fang tourists find is Northern Alaska in winter with no one to eat. So they take it out on the local wildlife. Hunter, the worst thing I've had to do is drive a stake through a blood-hungry caribou. They're so majestic, it just... it really gets to you. What does any of this have to do with hallucinating from lack of sleep? There were so many caribou, if you slept, you died. By the end, I could swear they were talking to me. What did they say? Nothing I care to repeat. There better be a next time. What's up, Hunter? You are welcome to attend Ileana's surprise party. As much as I would enjoy that, my presence unsettles those incapable of perceiving me. I'll celebrate from afar. So you will be there in spirit? Oh, Hunter, how I've missed your wit.
What is that strange ripple in the air? It is not quite wind. I knew you would sense it. It's the transmigration of life essences from one level of existence to the next. Human souls? No. Insects, birds, other creatures. The Abbey is a waypoint where the veil between planes is quite thin. During quiet times such as this, you can actually feel it happening. I didn't want you to miss it. That was thoughtful of you to think of me, Doctor. If I am anything, Hunter, it's full of thoughts. Maybe too many, swirling around in my head, crashing against each other in a chaotic cosmos of ideas that is the madness of my mind. Reminding myself that I'm just a small part of the whole of creation is a way I calm it. It also reminds us of what's at risk of vanishing completely if your mother gets her way. Indeed. But I have a feeling that with a life force like yours in play, that won't happen. to calm down, Robbie. The others are in there with freaking Caretaker planning their next move against Faustus, and they are totally leaving us out. Again! But this is the Avengers we're talking about, right? They're heroes. Uh, and who had to bail out those heroes when your new pal Spider-Man was being chased by the alien slime monster? Us! Got you there. If they are so powerful, why could Strange not help us save Wanda? Look, Doc's a good guy, okay? He's patched up a spider knee or two since I started this thing. Flaming pumpkin bombs are not exactly covered by insurance. I would not trust him to patch a tire. They move into our home, take it over, and then have the nerve to leave us out of every single damn decision that affects us. You two want to cozy up to Mr. Stark and Doctor Strange? Go right ahead. Me, I'll be outside. Most of the air's been sucked up from here already. Hunter, got a question for you. Robbie, can we speak in private? Of course, let's go. Nico needs help prepping for a magic surprise party. All right. What does she need me to do? She wanted you to pick the team present for magic. Oh, I got this. I'll find something unforgettable. Thanks, Hunter. I needed some R&R. &R. Nico made some good points, but I gotta be honest, I'm getting used to the Avengers being around this place. I mean, yeah, Tony can be annoying, but not all of them. Of course. Although it makes me wonder. Wonder what? Well, what are they thinking about us? Blade. Did you strike your head in the last training session? No. Why? It is just... I have never known you to be so interested in your fellow team members' opinions before. I'm concerned about the tactical efficiency between our two groups, that's all. The more we get used to each other, the more efficient we become. Like you and Carol. Exactly. Hang on. I have no idea what you're talking about. You have many abilities, Daywalker. Lying is not one of them. Admit what you feel about Carol. You owe yourself that much. Admit what? That I feel a sense of admiration and respect for a fellow teammate? I have no doubt Carol also appreciates what you bring to the team. I hope so. I try to do my best for my allies. Well, I am sure she is also impressed with your efforts and has noticed you as much as you have clearly noticed her. I'm not going there, Hunter. Let's just drop it. Consider it dropped. 
Oh, and this conversation? It never happened. I will add it to the list. Hey, Hunter. Got some upgrades for you, hot off the press. Or forge. Another magical mystery box. And to think, I used to design sentient future tech. Oh well. So like, Hunter, uh, don't let this go to your head, but... I think you're okay. You do? Yeah, uh, I mean, I see you trying to make me feel included, and I thought I should take a moment to thank you for not leaving me out. Caretaker makes me feel like a child sometimes, but you don't, so, like, thanks. You are most welcome, Nico. It is an honor to fight by your side. Honor? Oh, man. Listen, Hunter, uh, don't take this the right way because I totally appreciate the compliment, but you really need to drop the formality and loosen up before Magic starts calling you a boomer. Boomer? It's slang for ancient outdated one who caused all of our problems. That describes me exactly. You know what? <laughs> Never mind. I'm gonna try and forget that you said that. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I see you making an effort to not make me feel like a complete reject, and I appreciate that. I need all the allies I can get on this apocalyptic reality show because I do not want to get voted out of this abbey or off this world. Reality show? Vote? Just try and not get eliminated, Hunter. <laughs> Been watching the way you handle yourself out there, Hunter. You're not bad. I was thinking maybe it's time you and I compare moves. Moves? As in combat? More like a friendly competition. Then I shall defeat you. In a friendly way. Tough talk. But can you back it up? Before we begin, is there anything else I should know? Yeah, anything goes. Just don't touch the shades. Now you want to say it or me? Say what? Ding ding. Can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Hmm. You don't need to check up on me, Hunter. I'm fine. Perhaps I wanted some fresh air as well. Well, enjoy it while you can. I'm sure they'll be opening an Avengers satellite campus here soon enough. The gods spare us all. <laughs> Look, the Abbey might be a little rustic, but it's ours. <sighs> Was ours, until these Avengers just swooped in and started treating us like a bunch of outsiders in our own home. And it's not like Caretaker does anything to stop it. Hell, she freaking encourages it. Pisses me off so much I could scream. Now would be the time. To what? Scream. No one will hear you but me. What? You want me to shout, screw you, Avengers, go back to your tower! If it makes you feel better. I don't usually scream unless people are shooting at me or hurling a fireball at my head, but yeah, just getting the words out is kind of cathartic. You know, maybe this all wouldn't be bothering me so much if they were focusing all their effort on finding Wanda. 
None of them even mention her, let alone discuss how we're gonna rescue her. Because newsflash, no one plans to, especially Caretaker. She's probably happy she's gone. Ugh, forget I said that. And definitely don't tell Caretaker about any of this. Midnight Sun Cone of Silence, okay? <sighs> Good vent. Let's do it again sometime. <laughs> Later, Hunter. No pain, no gain. You're as good as they say. You are incapable. Do your thing. I'm ready when you are. Central will crack the code. Now we know what they're up to. The quest. Got some ops ready for you. Friendly neighborhood service at friendly neighborhood prices. See you soon. I'm tracking a new threat. What's ugly, hungry, and dead all over. Vampires? Yes, but an entirely new breed. Nothing I've seen before. If it is the kind with chameleon skin, we must act quickly. We cannot let them overrun the Abbey. Not again. My intel doesn't mention a visibility issue, but uh, let's circle back to the not again part. Ancient history. It was unpleasant. So you're saying no need to bring this up with Tony? His room is where the infestation began. Good to know. For me, not him. The new breed I'm tracking are, uh, they're vampires. I see. No, I do not. You already said they were vampires. Vampires, with a Y, pronounced exactly the same as vampires. I suppose that was wildly creative for the 16th century monks who first catalogued them. No, it is just confusing. That's why I'm calling them new breed vampires to set them apart. I'll flag anything related to these latest bloodsuckers and send it directly to the mirror table. Carol. You are... The best? Yeah, I know. Hunter! Just the person I wanted to see. Okay, I'll be honest with you, anyone is the person I want to see right now. At this point, I'd sit down for a tea with Galactus if it meant I didn't have to sift through these gamma readings for another second. It's all just starting to blur into one big giant green gamma mess, you know? And my favorite big giant green gamma mess is too busy to help. I have seen you harness the power of a sun. I believe you will find a way, Dr. Banner or not. More of a white hole versus star, but I hear ya. Still, just because a gal can absorb gamma energy doesn't mean she's ready to teach a class on it at Empire State. And it's not just that. I've got a bad feeling about things lately, okay? Particularly when it comes to you and Bruce. I'm what they call a precog. I catch glimpses of the future. No idea why, but I'm sure channeling the power of a mini white hole through your entire body might have a little something to do with it. What exactly did you see? Nothing specific. More of an impression. You and Bruce. Your faces. You didn't look good. <sighs> Is this what Steven goes through? I sometimes catch glimpses too. The past, the future. Sometimes a different present. Though the source of our visions may differ, you are not alone in this burden. 
forgot I was talking to the Chosen One there for a second. Still, I actually find that somehow comforting. Maybe we can start a Tortured Vision book club or something. I'm always here if you want to talk about them. I might just take you up on that. My visions are chaotic at best, and very few and far between. Maybe a while before I can make sense of this one. <sighs> I should get back on task. I think I've ignored these numbers long enough. Talk to you later. I couldn't help but hear some raised voices in the other room. Was wondering if you knew what all the fuss was about. Was there some argument? You might want to talk to Nico directly. Why? Is she upset? I do not want to speak for her. But she seemed angry about Wanda. I want to grieve too, but none of us have that luxury right now, or else we'll be grieving the whole world. Thank you for your honesty. I will have to think about how to handle this with Nico. We'll speak later. Central's picking up some unusual activity at the New York Museum of Art. Looks like a break-in. It's all stolen artwork, recently recovered from the personal collection of... Deadpool? That Harlequin is an art thief? Uh, no. Red Skull is the art thief. Deadpool is more of a... kind of like... <sighs> you really need to see for yourself. differently, but they always have good intentions. I'm sure everything's fine. It's, uh, it is fine, right? I need to hydrate. Anyone have coconut water? <sighs> good luck, kiddo. You're going to need it. Caretaker? Are you sitting in with Carol? Oh, no. Not if Deadpool's involved. He cannot be that bad. <laughs> Just wait. Any intel on our museum thief? Let me guess. Captain Mayo in the archives with a candlestick. Hydra Mystic in the warehouse. No candles. Whatever Hydra is looking for, it seems they have yet to find it. Just don't let them find you. You the new guy? Huh? Sorry, the new fully customizable, heroically upgradable monster masher? Wisecracking anti-hero. Merc. Very occasional hero. Whatever. I'm adaptable. Spin me off. It's a big franchise. Stop talking. Are you here for the statue too? What statue? The one my very mysterious and very scary client from somewhere in very Eastern Europe wants me to steal back from the guy who stole it from him? It's the circle of crime. That one? Well, Jimmy, my frickin' chagas. Yeah, that one. Hands up and pants down, ladies and gents. This is a robbery. 
I'm sorry. Have we met? Aren't you... Sloth? No, no. Sylvia. Cindy? Please kill him. Sin! That's it. Of course, Sin! Granddaughter of Redhead. I mean Skull. I mean Skull. Whatever. No! We never seem to have much luck with these stealth approaches. I have yet to participate in one that was actually quiet. Quiet is boring. I'm almost never quiet, and things go not terrible for me sometimes. Try not to get wiped out by Hydra flunkies while you're mouthing off. Not dying is actually a key part of my strategy. Bad luck for you, friendo! I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. your strength. Weak, even for Hydra. I am by your side. Refreshing. to hear who hired you to steal that artifact if you're feeling chatty, and I know you are. Wait, you aren't the usual lady in my ear. Who is this? Uh, Carol Danvers? Why is that name so familiar? I'm Captain Marvel. Ah, it's finally happened! Always happy to meet my fans. myself every day. With extreme strength! Let that be a lesson to you, evil doer! Hostile unit on the move. myself. I need to stop taking jobs from mysterious internet strangers. This could have been dangerous. This internet seems like nothing but trouble. Horrible puppy videos. Not 
to mention all the not safe for work stuff. What is? Don't even ask, Hunter. I'm gonna get ya. <laughs> Hey, I better distribute my skill points. Managed to find this place. Been tracking Hydra long? You're really pumping me for information here. I'm slightly aroused. One time I sit in for caretaker, this is what I get. Lunatic pervert mercenary. Lunatic pervert mercenary? That's my favorite anime! You were too weak for this fight. Insanely annoying, as expected, but at least he can fight. Step away from the artifact. Click! Did you just say click? Yes, I did. For emphasis. Now hand over the statue. Fool! Do you know what- ah, ah, Monologue free zone here. It's in my contract. Sorry. Now, respect the click and hand over the... Whoa! Big click energy. I like it. Wanna help me kill some Nazis? Hydra aren't Nazis. Ah, potato frittata. What they have outlives their usefulness to me. I had your back. Right. Where is Sin? And the statue? Oh. Hmm. The level designer says she went that way. Why betray her own people? Maybe she appreciates a plot twist? <laughs> you first. thing. Cause you know I'm the biggest Mole Man fan. Uh-oh. It would seem Hydra and their mistress have escaped with the artifact. Is this like one of those monkey's paw things? I say, Mole Man, and the universe gives us off-brand vampires? They're vampires, with a Y. It's a whole... Ugh. Don't ask. Wasn't gonna. So, is there some special way to dust these critters? Beat them before they eat you? That's a kid. <laughs> 
I am impressed. Your mother abandoned. Somebody call the meat wagon! I should probably feel bad about that. These vampires are a problem. At least we know how to handle them. That statue, not even a sparkly hole can cheer me up. Is this about your very scary client again? When he finds out how royally I botched this mission, or worse, when he finds me, I'll be... <laughs> Deader, Pool? There it is! You go, new guy! And by that, I still obviously mean the new fully customizable... Come back with us to the Abbey. No. The magical wards will protect you. No. Hell no. You can hide there. Help us track down Sin. No. no. Fight off the vampire infestation. If you insist. Look, Ma, I'm gonna be DLC. 